This is uh, this has been a wild few months uh, for you. It's been uh, different, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been uh, pretty yeah pretty wild. I think is the perfect way to say it. So, did it become real? When you, when you got here and started seeing some of the guys? Yeah, definitely when I jumped on the plane, uh, Corey Schneider was on my flight here, so I was like, okay, this is actually going to happen, and we're going to be around the All-Stars, and we're going to actually go through with this. John, I'm, I'm sure the, the last little while, uh, so many people have given you a million reasons to not come yeah. and a million to come. But I think you've kind of let everybody know that it really has come down to what it would mean for you and your family. Can you put into words what that means for the, the yeah, listeners? Yeah, it's, uh, you hear it from both sides. Obviously, I've heard many negative things along the way, and you just kind of drown those things out. I think with my job, I've heard negative stuff my whole career, so I've been used to it. But uh, yeah, I just kind of drown those things out and focus on the positive things. I, you know, I'm supported by my peers, my teammates, and all the guys who I've talked to along the way, and most importantly, my family. You know, they stepped up and they said, you know, this is a pretty big, you know, opportunity for you. This is the all-star game. You never get a chance to do this ever. So we, uh, we decided to go, no so matter what. Is yeah. that why you, you dug in on this? Because yeah. it's the fighter in you? And it wasn't even, I don't know if I dug in. I just kind of held my ground. I wasn't going to be pushed around. I wasn't going to, you know, just let someone take advantage of me. And I just said this would be a good thing. And I think the fans will like it. And at the end of the day, I think it'll be good for the game. There'll be a little bit of excitement. And it'll be a fun hockey game. Are, are you nervous, though? Or are you? Oh, yeah. Is yeah, part of you absolutely. Like it's... um. Anytime we talk about three-on-three -three in skills competition, I think that is not my game. It's nothing I've ever done. I've never really played three-on-three. -three. I've never... Have played you played a, a shift of three-on-three? -three? No, 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 never, never. I don't <laughs> play in the third period most games. So it's uh, it's definitely be different, and it'll be definitely nerve-wracking. I've thought about it many times. You know, I, I kind of just try to play out how it's going to go, and you just don't know. Do you understand why there is so much controversy about this? Though. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's it, it started off as a farce, I get it. It was, I don't know, someone said it was some blogger who kind of brought it up and it just kind of Greg gained Wyshynski. steam. Yeah, and it just kind of gained steam and it kind of went from there. It got, got picked up on all these other sites and here we go. So yeah, I understand that, but I don't like to look at it that way. Like, you know. When you factor in uh, the trade and being sent to the American Hockey League right away, is there a part of you that says that... Uh, this could be my last shot of, of ever being associated with the NHL in the way that I've, I've felt the last uh, throughout my career. Is this is this it? Is this yeah. the last shot? At Absolutely. I've definitely thought about that. My wife's brought that up to me. She said, this could be it, you know, so go and have fun. Like, if this is your last NHL opportunity, it could be worse. You know, it could be a lot worse. So hopefully it's not. Hopefully I can get, you know, back in the league this year and make a make a run for the playoffs and stuff like that with Montreal, but you never know. If you could go back in time. Sorry, Nick. Are you happy that this has happened, or would you prefer it didn't happen? Yeah, it's such a tricky thing because you never know if I didn't get voted. Maybe I'm still with Phoenix, and this whole thing doesn't happen. You just don't know how it works out. But I'm happy. You know, it's mm -hmm. when you're growing up, never would I ever thought I'd be at the All Star game. You know, I used to watch the skills competitions, I used to watch all the games and stuff, and I loved it. And so now just to be able to play in a game is crazy. Like, it's, yeah, mind boggling. Yeah. You know, John, my biggest fear uh, towards the latter part of my career was, and I had a ton of anxiety, was what am I going to do when I'm done, okay? And the difference between me and you, although we play that kind of similar style, was I didn't have a degree from Michigan Tech to fall back on. Is that your safety net here to also kind of tell the NHL that um, I'll be fine if if I'm not associated with the NHL because of my decision? Yeah, and I think I always have that to fall back on. I never want to be the guy who to kind of say, you know, stick it to the NHL. I never want to do that. I think uh, that's nice to have in my back pocket. I'd like to stay in hockey as long as I can. You know, as far as playing in the NHL, it's, you know, it's a great job. But, yeah, I have an engineering degree, and I'll use that when I'm done playing. And it's nice to know, like, I'm not going to be – out of work when I'm done playing. You know, I don't have that worry like other guys do. But is there the thought that this could blackball me or ostracize me? You know, I hope not. I don't think I've done anything wrong. Like, I think I've just kind of been quiet about the whole thing and not really said much, and I got voted in. Like, what am I supposed to do? Turn it down? Like, I, I think I'd be crazy to turn it down. Like, this is a huge opportunity for me and my family, and, like, it's the All-Star game. It's not a serious game. Like, it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be for the fans and to have a good time, and... I think that's what I'm going to try to do, and I think that's what the fan sees. What are your expectations for yourself on Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just to kind of keep up. It's I, I'm hopefully not going to be a fan. Like I'm going to be watching these guys out there and 
kind of being in awe sometimes, but I'm just going to go and play hockey. I'm, I'm actually not that bad of a player. I'll be able to keep up, I know. but uh, yeah, it'll will, be fun. Will you seek out some people to give you some strategies out there? Well, yeah, I, I was talking to Kaner earlier today, and I you know, hung out with Bernsey and Pavs last night. What are they night. telling you? They just tell me, go to the net, keep your stick on the ice, and we'll find you. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you a couple. So. The old Gretzky Semenko, right? Go to there, the net, right? baby. So yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. So you're not going to take yourself out of the rotation or anything like that? No, no. Well, I hope not. I mm-hmm. hope the coach doesn't take me out. It's, it's because a we work fun with game. Doug. We work with Doug McLean. He's yeah. benched people at an all-star game before. <laughs> Roman Hammerlick, he sat him down really? for the final 10 minutes All right, well, for 10 grand. Maybe one more shift. No, if, if we're up by a few and in, though, this is for a 90 grand, I'm going to yeah. definitely look back and be like, I'm, I'm good. Well, you're a guy that 90 grand. Oh, Some of these guys is They're making six, chain. seven, 10 million. Yeah, that's pocket change. This will be nice if I can win that. So I'm going to be trying, trying my hardest. What's going on uh, in the skills competition? What are you doing? We just did it. Um, I just voted for uh, who's and what. I tried to stack the deck so I'd win the hardest shot, but they didn't let me. So <laughs> I'm doing that. I tried to just get me, Sadine, Kane, and Johnny Gaudreau. But they're like, you got to put Weber in it. You got to put Bufflin in it. So I got the heavy hitters and the hardest shot. And uh, I got Bufflin going fast as skater. So that'll be interesting. And uh, What are you yeah. doing? I'm doing hardest shot, and I think I'm doing accuracy, too. I'm not sure, because every guy has to do two You got two a number in mind for the hardest shot? Hopefully, you get to 103. Wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe. Wow, I know. I never got past 90. I weigh 265 pounds. Yeah, I hope I can go. shoot it hard. Do you, you're okay that this could be your legacy? Well, going to the All-Star game or this yeah. whole thing? I don't think it'll be my legacy. I think it'll be definitely a, a talking point, but... You know, I played in the league for eight years. I've done a lot of good things, and I've stuck around when a lot of guys didn't stick around. So I'm, I'm happy with how things have gone. And if this is how people want to remember me with the all-star vote in the all-star game, there could be worse things, you know? I, I'm okay with it. How is everything at home? I know you're expecting twins. How's yeah, that? they're good. She's at the hotel right now just resting and kind of taking it easy. She's uh, going to try to do as many things as she can this weekend. But obviously when you're a week out, you can't really do much. So I'm, I'm hearing your jersey sold out. Yeah. I guess so. Someone told me that, right? How funny is that? <laughs> Royalties? Exactly. Anyway, I know. Come on. I'm not seeing any of the back end on any of this stuff. Uh, I think what, I might have to be your agent here. <laughs> so what, uh, because this is so unique, what are you looking forward to the most about the whole weekend? You know, it's there's two things. I want to, my family first and foremost, I think just going around with them and just being around other kids for, on other guys on the team and stuff like that. But uh, just being around these like really like superstar players. I've been around a few of them once, or, once in a while on teams, but just to have that group of guys like Yager, Luongo, Kane, like all these guys, it's it's neat to kind of be around that kind of greatness. So I think I'm looking forward to that. You a room. picture guy? You going to get some pictures with I them? just got one of your staff to take a picture of us right here. Yeah, I want there to kind go. of remember yeah. this whole thing. It, this is never going to happen it, again. It gets downhill after you leave this. Well, yeah, this is <laughs> the pinnacle. And then, yeah, I, I start at the top, right? Okay, call it. How many goals on Sunday? Um, how many combined goals? You, how, two no, games? No, no, you. you. Yeah, combined two games for you. Six. Oh, I like Good. it. Six, maybe? Yeah, they're going to be trying to find me that's the puck. A, they have to. That's a career for us, by the way. Well, I think I've got five in my career, so that's <laughs> uh, better than my career. What do you think that moment will be like? You remember, I, uh, the Players' Tribune article is is a wonderful read. Thank you. And I and I I truly believe it it has changed a lot of people's opinion. It, it's it's that powerful uh, of a, an article. But what when you went to the National Hockey League, you were nervous. You didn't have your passport, and you had to yeah. wait a couple of weeks, but. What do you think that moment will be like on Sunday? It'll be special. Even just like turning around and looking at all the setup they have ready for us, it's 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 cool. Like I, I'm turning into a fan myself. I've never been in this type of situation, being interviewed by you guys and like all this media stuff. I'm not used to that. Usually I'm just like the fourth line plug who maybe plays sometimes, and I, I don't get any of this two recognition. Of us on yeah, there. so it's two of us here. It's so, it's an experience for me as well. Like I'm turning into a fan. Like holy cow! Like I'm doing an interview with you guys. Like it's cool. Who do you think about uh, on Sunday? Who do I think about? Yeah. I don't know. My family. I think that's that's the most important thing to me. I think they were the driving factor. And I hate to beat a dead horse always, but yeah. you know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. So I think they'll be there. I'll look up, and they'll have my jerseys on and stuff, and then we cheering for me, and it'll just be a it'll be a neat little moment. Well, thanks for doing this. Uh, yeah, thank you. Congratulations. I, it, there's been so much uh, said about this, and uh, you've handled it with grace. Thank you very uh, much. Yeah, I'm just publicly ready so. for it to be over. Really. Yeah, just get back to normal. Just play hockey and just not deal with all this all-star junk anymore. Well, you got a couple more days. Yeah, I so know. More en- days. En- enjoy that. I will that enjoy it. it. Yes, definitely. The, the hard part's already over. Yes. Uh, thanks to John Scott.